If you select Appearance from the sidebar in the system settings, you will have other options available. For example, the overall dim of your Mac should be light, dark, or automatically selected according to the time of day. Choosing the desired color in accent color causes some icons, selected items, or text boxes to change to that color. In this case, you can specify the highlight color of the selected text. By choosing multicolor, this task is left to the Mac, which is a better choice. In the display section, you can change the screen space. By reducing the resolution, you will see larger views, and by increasing it, you will have more space. Another option is to adjust the brightness of the screen, which of course you can set to automatic so that the brightness of the screen will change according to ambient light. Mission Control, which has its dedicated key on the keyboard. When you have many open windows, it helps you to see all of them at once and choose your window or app, or copy and paste items from one app to another. It makes it easier for you. Another way to activate Mission Control is the combination key Control plus up arrow. To display all open windows of the app on the screen, use the combination key Control plus down arrow. Another way to switch between apps is to use the combination key Command plus Tab. Hold Command down and press Tab until you reach the app you want. Before watching the rest of the video, please subscribe to help us make better videos. If the desktop on your Mac gets cluttered with open apps windows, you can use the mission control to create additional desktops called Spaces. To organize the windows, when you work in a space, only the windows in that space are shown. To move between spaces, use the Ctrl left or right arrow keys combination or swipe with two fingers on the magic mouse. To move a window to another space, drag it to the edge of the desktop and hold it for a moment. You can assign an app to a specific space so it will always open in that space. Open the desired app, then control click or right click on it in the dock. Now you can choose which app to open only in which space or in all of them. To delete a space in mission control, hold the mouse pointer on its thumbnail. After the X appears, click on it. To work with two apps side by side at the same time, use a split view. Place the mouse pointer on the maximize button at the top of the window and choose which side of the desktop the window should be placed on from the menu that appears. And then which window should be placed on the opposite side. In this case, to see the menu bar, you have to stick mouse pointer to the top of the screen and to make the dock appear, stick it to the bottom. Through drag and drop can change the place of two windows. And by dragging the separator bar to the left or right, you can make a window bigger or smaller. To replace a window with another one, activate it and place the pointer on Maximize and select Replace Tiled Window. To remove any of windows from this mode, click on Maximize or select Move Window to Desktop. Items on Desktop can also be organized. Click on the Desktop Select Show View Options from the View drop-down list menu bar. In the open window, you can group the items on the desktop as you wish, or sort them, change their size, and increase or decrease the distance between them. Other options are resizing the names of the items, their location, displaying info on each item, and their thumbnail. Finally, in the display section of accessibility, you have other options, the most important of which are adjusting the contrast, changing the size of the menu bar, and changing the size and color of the mouse pointer.